I want diamonds. I'm here in a brand new 1.17 world and there's been a few videos made so far about the best Y level to find diamonds in this new update. Apparently it's Y6. Now that's all very well but the reason I'm making this video is because I'm interested in how long it takes to get full diamond in this new update. And to clarify, to me full diamond isn't just the armour, it's also a full set of tools and a sword as well which in total adds up to 35 diamonds. So for this video, I've set up three different areas, one being here, the world spawn, but also 5,000 blocks one way and 5,000 blocks the other. And basically we're just gonna mine from scratch in each area and see how long it takes us to get 35 diamonds. Any diamonds I use for equipment, such as a pickaxe, I can't count. I have to have 35 diamonds in this bottom chest by the end of the session and then we hit stop on the timer and see how long it took. I have given myself a few little niceties just to get me started but nothing too extravagant. I'm assuming that if you were at the point of strip mining you've probably got all this stuff already. So without further ado here we go. Test number one, Y6, full diamond. Let's go. And contrary to the stereotype of Minecraft YouTubers, I am going to leave my mining on camera. I'll be honest, I'm so used to mining up around 10, 11, 12 that when I heard that it was going to be Y6 from now on, I didn't really believe it. So when I got down to Y6 and found just how common diamonds were, I was initially pretty surprised. Although, sadly, this didn't last. I think I got all the good clips in this video, but after about 40 minutes, I just seemed to run out of luck entirely. It seemed like everywhere I looked there was just no diamonds to be found, whereas before I, I pretty much found them every other branch that I created off of the main strip. Although that said, I did decide to jump into spectator mode afterwards to see if I could work out what was going on, and I believe I might have found something, but let's just have a look at the results first. Well, I'm going to be totally honest with you, that session made me want to cry. It took me 40 minutes to actually find 35 diamonds, but as I mined one, it fell into lava so of course in the interest of this being a proper survival experience mining diamonds i decided to press on until i got back to 35. it took two hours 56 minutes before i managed to get back to 35 diamonds i kept breaking even on the pickaxes man so to be honest with you after this first session i'm not really sure what the average time would be which is a good job that i've got the other sessions to do but we've ended it on our fifth diamond pickaxe with 38 diamonds and we also got all of this stuff, which I suppose is not half bad. An interesting side note is that I started on this side of the strip mine, and this is where I got 35 diamonds just on the one diamond pick. However, when I went back to the other side to try and make it back to 35, I, I was getting barely any. Well, looking at the two sides, we can see that the original side I was on was surrounding this massive vein of lava. So in other words, everywhere I was digging had lava around it. This side, not so much. Now obviously in survival mode you can't just hop into spectator mode and go and check this out but it does emphasize the importance of mining around lava if you want to get diamonds. Anyhow now that's over it's time to whack the rest of my things in the chest and it's time to go to the next area. Send me 5,000 blocks away from this rain please. And starting again from scratch with just an iron pickaxe. Mining session 2, Y level 6. Here we go. Now I bet some of you watching this are thinking, Tom, why are you not using an enchanted diamond pickaxe to make this faster? Well, the reason is that I wanted to make this very much like the first mining session you're gonna do on a world. So no enchantments, a bit slow, and the aim is to just get all the gear as fast as possible, even with that limited equipment. So that's, that's the aim we're going for with this. But I found a similar problem in the second area. Basically, it didn't matter how long I mined for, I'd hit patches where I just found nothing, and then I'd get other patches where I found lots all at once it seemed a bit inconsistent to be honest so uh, I think the first hour I found about 12 diamonds the second hour I got all the way up to the sort of early 30s 31 33 34 but never quite hit 35 and then had to keep using the diamonds to make more pickaxes so it took me a while to hit 35. I suppose that a less fussy person than me probably would have thought you know what I'm using a diamond pickaxe right now it's not too worn out I'd say I'm done but yeah, I was, I was pretty picky to be honest. It was in the name of science, people. Consistency is very important, so I stuck to my guns. The total time for that session was 2 hours and 59 minutes, and this is what we got. We finally got to exactly 35 diamonds. We were on our fifth diamond pickaxe yet again. We got a little bit of gold, loads of raw chicken, a bit of copper, quite a lot of redstone and coal as well, and some lapis. So it wasn't massively successful on the diamond front, it still took us a little bit longer actually than the last time, 
That said, most of these diamonds were found during the second hour of mining. So I'm starting to think that even though the overall time was three hours for both mining sessions, it's quite likely that a lot of this is just down to chance. Even so, we have one more session to go. So let's get on with that now. Boom and boom. I'm not going to lie, I did think when I made this room that this this is going to put me at an advantage, I suppose, depending on how many's underneath. I've no idea, but let's just get on with it. I'm sure it's still going to work out about the same overall. So here we go, the final session. Diamond mining at Y level 6, round 3. Let's go! Now on this run, I did things a little bit differently. After I collected the diamonds that were at the start, I then started tunneling, but when I hit lava consistently for each branch I made, I then started branching out to the side to follow the lava river all the way down along its length in hope that I would find diamonds as I went, and this technique seemed to work pretty well to be honest. Before I knew it, I was very near my target and it didn't take me too long to finish it off. The mistake I made with the last two digging sessions is that my mining was not at all targeted. I was just strip mining with no aim other than to find diamonds, but I wasn't really paying an awful lot of attention to where I was mining. And I think this is what made the difference this time. I had a plan and it worked out. Of course, there was a little part of me that thought it could have just been down to chance again. And so I was skeptical. So after this time lapse, you'll see after we look at the results, we're then going to go back to the different mining spots and I'm going to show you in spectator mode where the spots were that I was finding the most diamonds. And hopefully that will give you an idea of exactly what I was doing that helped me to speed up my mining time in this last time lapse. And bearing in mind that I've done this with an unenchanted pick, imagine the results that you could get if you had efficiency five, fortune three on a pick. I, I think that you would be able to get full diamond in probably about 15 minutes but perhaps that's a video idea for another day. For now, let's have a look and see how we got on in this last time lapse. Well, that was considerably faster. We got to 38 diamonds in 54 minutes. We were only on our second diamond pickaxe, but I suppose the downside to that was that we didn't have as much other resources collected up, but diamonds is what we were after, so happy days. So looking at the times for all of those sessions, the first session we had two times, it technically took 40 minutes, but we dropped a diamond in lava, so it ended up taking two hours 56, which seemed like a very big difference to me. But then the second session legitimately took a much longer time, which was two hours 59 minutes. But then our last session only took us 54 minutes, less than an hour, which kind of made me think, I need to investigate what is going on here. So we're just going to very quickly, in spectator mode, visit the other two sites. We saw in the first session that lava proximity played a big part in where the diamonds were. So let's first of all go over to the second area. Now around this area was where I got my last couple of diamonds. But to be honest, at this point, I was really, really struggling. Most of what I found was over here. And again, we can see lava everywhere, absolutely everywhere. This is where I found the majority of the diamonds in that session. And now here at the final mining spot where I had diamonds right in the room, that obviously helped a little. But if we look again at this area, the majority of the diamonds were all around this area that's surrounded by this lava vein. My honest observations on this is that it doesn't seem to be just odd lava pools that are where the diamonds spawn. It's these underground rivers where the lava flows around in a sort of a snake type pattern so digging around these at y6 seems to be the best place to find diamonds in this version of the game so to recap while mining at y6 it could take you a very long time to get full diamond however if you pick the right spot i reckon you could easily get it sub one hour as always thanks for watching and if you did enjoy this please please consider subscribing because it helps me out a ton thanks again and i'll see you in the next video cheers